Hey, what's up guys? I'm uh, kind of trying to sort out how I'm going to prioritize my training. Uh, first of all, I'm doing boxing four or five days a week now. So, but I still want to maintain uh, my bodybuilding as well. But obviously I cannot train to the same extent in bodybuilding as I was before. Otherwise, I would just be too fatigued, uh, not have the strength, the stamina to, uh, to do the boxing and then uh, you know what I mean? I, but because I, I want to be able to focus 100% and beat when I go into the ring for sparring sessions. Uh, I want to. I want to be like 100% right in, in my training. So, like with anyone who's an athlete in anything, you know, obviously the sport you're in, you have to prioritize over the strength training. Uh, but nonetheless, the strength training is still there to. Uh, to like as a base to complement your whatever sport you're in right you want to be strong you want to have the agility you want to have the cardio and everything else so uh, first of all what I'm doing is now shifting a bit more into uh, cardio things like jumping rope jogging uh, by on the bike uh, at the gym the reclining bike so there's a bit more cardio incorporated in what I'm doing at the moment uh, second of all, that's how I'm kind of uh, balancing things out. Second of all, I'm going, I, before I was going to the gym five days a week, I'm bringing it down to three or four. Three, I would still do pretty intense sessions. If I was doing a fourth day, it might be not as much of an intense session. So, because, uh, like I said, I, I wouldn't want to be too fatigued if I'm then on top of that going to the boxing. For example, today. I went and I did a back and bicep day, right? I didn't totally fuck my arms up on biceps. I did some great back workouts. I went into the biceps, I did some curls, but it wasn't like I didn't destroy my arms to the, to the point where I'm not gonna be able to throw punch, punches effectively today, if that makes sense. I'm still gonna get an arm workout right now where I'm, where I'm going to, to uh, my boxing club right now. So it's that type of uh, shifting, prioritizing myself that is, I believe going to uh, balance my all my whole training schedule, but it's going to come at a cost. It's going to come at a cost of my uh, size and potentially strength, but it's going to come to a benefit on uh, definite my cutting. I'm going if I continue doing this boxing four or five days a week, like I leave every time drenched in sweat, and uh, like last time in between sparring matches. I was uh, on the verge of puking. Like the guy got me the bucket, ready, I was ready to fucking puke. Like the, the level of uh, conditioning that's involved in it, it, so it's going to be like a bit of different approach. I'm not gonna be in the bulking mode, right? That's what it comes down to. It's gonna be a cutting mode, which is great because that's, to be honest, what I, I feel like I need. I was bulking for way too long, and then I kind of went on this recomp where I lost weight, but I gained strength and size on my uh, my current cycle. Now I'll transition to a straight cut for the summer. Why not? And I believe that the boxing will help with that 100%. Now, I'm still gonna add in uh, some high volume days at the gym. I'm still going to do leg days where I'm gonna do squats and deadlifts and uh, leg press and leg extension, leg curls, where I'm not gonna be able to walk properly the next day. There still might be days where when I go to the boxing gym, I won't have to be 100%, and that's okay. But overall, I wouldn't want to uh, be five days doing bodybuilding strength training and then five days doing boxing in the gym. Uh, maybe I could. Maybe eventually, you know, if I really pushed myself, that might be doable. But I just think that, uh, first of all, I wouldn't have the time to do all that. Second of all, uh, I would just be way too fatigued. And uh, and it's gonna that would come at a cost. So that's where I'm at now with things. Um, one one way that I would mitigate that I am mitigating uh, muscle pain, muscle cramping, muscle soreness, and helping in the recovery is I go to a hot tub uh, three days a week when after like a really intense training session, and I find that helps a lot with my. Uh, my recovery it promotes blood flow to the muscles and promotes uh, loosening the muscles and in there I do stretches 
so while I'm in the hot tub, it's a nice big hot tub at Y1 Gym, I'm doing like stretching my glutes, my legs, my hamstrings, everything, uh, my hips, things like that. My, my hips are super tight, not really that flexible. And like things like my groin, my adductors are pretty tight as well. So like I, I, I'll stretch my, my uh, legs out and uh, just promotes relaxation as well, promotes better sleep. Like whenever I go in the hot tub, I go home and I pass out super early. So yeah, that's kind of uh, another way that I'm, I'm helping with uh, my recovery because that's the major concern. Obviously, you don't want to be over training too much. <clears throat> What boxing does well is a good upper body workout, good strength, power in the arms, you know what I mean? You get really this mind-body connection, which is great, and as with a lot of different sports, and it's just overall conditioning. I can't imagine another sport that is better conditioning than boxing. Uh, obviously, there's, like, if you're playing hockey a lot or something like that, you, you know, that's great as well. Uh, it's just, but this is just like, when I, when it, as soon as you step in the gym, as soon as you leave, you're doing something there's a few breaks in between but not much you're just going to start skipping rope for pretty much 10 minutes straight then you go hit some bags for 10 minutes then he calls you in for some sparring and he hit some more bags you know what i mean it's just like non-stop for an hour so yeah it's i think i'm, I'm getting videos of myself now and i'm, I'm in pictures of myself of my physique I, I strongly believe that in about one month's time I'm gonna lose another 10 pounds. I already lost 10 pounds in the last like two two months, three months. So I'm, my physique is just gonna be cut while maintaining strength and size. That's why going to the gym still is important. I don't want to totally abandon that, uh, especially while I'm uh, on a cycle. So that's that. And speaking about the cycle, I believe the current one I'm on, like the master, I don't know if it's the master on or the MVP or the testosterone or all three. It's just making me like crave that fight like makes me kind of have a fighting spirit I believe that's kind of just the masculine aspect coming out of like kind of an aggression but it's not like a bad aggression it's like you know um, it's like pure exertion it's like this exertion of of things and drive motivation like literally whenever I commit to something like for the last six months I've been committed to learning about anabolics every day every day i'm in the car watching youtube videos and podcasts on anabolics fucking three hours a day learning about ana everything about anabolics right well now i'm shifting to boxing i'm at home on chat gpt figuring out different boxing strategies i'm watching boxing videos i'm watching old classic boxing matches so now three hours a day i'm just studying boxing putting my mind into something and then actually my body following that that is like an amazing thing and that's what kind of my nature has and always was like like I literally go balls deep maybe I'll make a video about this later on but it's like I, th I think but to get back to what the, the point I was making the anabolics are definitely helping assist that drive uh, you know wanting the, like having that hunger for going to the gym and both gyms and, and just fucking go beast mode and, and unleash on a bag or you know what I mean like so maybe I'll get hopefully I'll get another uh, sparring match in tonight I'll make a video and if so I'll post that uh, again this channel is uh, just about my whole fitness journey and anabolic journey and how it all goes together uh, so yeah I'm really excited to share all that with you guys if you have any comments anything you want me to talk about more that I addressed or any questions about my anabolic routine, uh, my fitness, or boxing, just let me know. Leave in the comments below. I'll be happy to address any questions or anything that anybody has. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great night. Peace.